Well, you know, this uh, depends on who you ask. <laughs> is the is the uh, is the answer to that? I I I, I don't mean that. It's a matter of just personal opinion, but the great, but both in the presentations, uh, the teachings on emptiness and Buddha nature, in the in this in the scriptures uh, attributed to Buddha, and in the great uh, philosophical expositions, there's some kind of different ways of talking about this relationship between emptiness and and Buddha nature, but I think that to kind of make it simple or not get to the heart of the matter perhaps better finally yes emptiness and buddha nature are one reality for instance buddha nature is not a self or a soul like when we say all beings have buddha nature we don't mean like say like a, a christian would say everybody has a soul that's a spark of prison put in them by god uh, or like the hindus might say everybody shares in brahman the one reality so everybody's self is divine. We don't mean that. Buddha nature, in a way, symbolize the, the term is the capacity that everybody has to realize the true nature of their mind. And although the true nature of mind is identical in different beings, in a sense, it's empty of any intrinsic nature and it's endowed with clarity and awareness, when one person realizes that, they realize it as the nature of their mind. The whole other world. You don't become part of one great whole at that time. When Buddha became enlightened, the whole world didn't become enlightened. So Buddha nature is in a way individual. It's a description of, of, of your mind in terms of its potential to manifest the qualities of enlightenment, wisdom, compassion and power, the qualities by which a Buddha helps others. And that has it has that capacity because originally from the very mind is empty of any intrinsic nature. It's not a self. And at the same time, it's it's endowed with awareness, the capacity to respond. So that union of emptiness and clarity, we can is called in certain texts and certain places. It's called the Buddha, the Buddha nature. So the answer to the question is yes, emptiness and Buddha nature are not different, but we're talking about Buddha nature. It's almost like a positive take on emptiness stressing very much the capacity to realize emptiness and to become fully enlightened. So Buddha nature is like, we could say, is like the seed of enlightenment that exists within all, within all beings. Genetically, spiritually, genetically, everybody you know, has the capacity to manifest as, as, as a Buddha. That's what Buddha nature means. But if it, that wasn't emptiness... There would be no possibility of manifesting as a Buddha because when we're thinking of Buddha nature as a self and where there's clinging to self, there's opposition to others, there's disturbing emotions, blah, blah, blah. Samsara, in short, cycle of birth and death. So always one should keep Buddha nature and emptiness, as it were, together in one's sights and one's training, one's, under, one's understanding. <laughs> 